All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you the full process of where to find soundboard sounds, how to upload them to Discord, and also how to do some editing on your end if they're kind of quiet or if they're too loud, or if you just want to use the built-in editor, which can adjust some of that stuff for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I've got room for my sounds on my Chupacabra test server by going into server settings and then going to soundboard. By default, you get eight soundboard slots for free that might increase later. So if you're watching this video later and you've got like 16 and you don't have a nitro boosted server, that's probably why. Uh, but which ones do I really not find that I use that much? I don't really use the let's go sound. So we'll delete that. And I also don't need this monkey sound. And probably not the Gotham sound either. So now I have space. I've got, you know, three slots available. So now I need to get some sounds. So there's a couple of places you can get sounds. You can look up sound effects and sound effect, like soundboard websites. Those are all over the place and they usually have different sounds for free. For some reason, all of the like soundboard websites that popped up in the last couple of years all have like these arcade buttons to preview different sounds. So like, I feel like they're all made by probably the same people, but you can also just go straight over to YouTube and you can do like Discord disconnect sound. And people have different sounds that you can just download from Discord, or not from Discord, from YouTube directly. Some of these sounds have a download somewhere down in their description. Some of them don't. Uh, if you find that they don't, you'll have to look up a website to convert YouTube videos to MP3 files. Um, I won't be showing you that in this particular video, but they exist, so just Google them. And once you find like whatever website you want to get sounds from, then you just got to think like, what sound do I want? And uh, that's, a, that's a good question. You can kind of go through here and find some, like we've got Magic Fairy, whatever that is. And then Angry Cat Meowing, Cartoon Running. And some of these are extremely loud, so you may want to reduce the volume of them when you upload them or before you upload them. But whatever reason, whatever purpose, you've got a whole bunch in here. Um, what's a good one? Let's look up a Godzilla roar just for fun. So that one, that one's not bad. Let's grab that one and I'll go ahead and just download this. Whenever you go to these weird like soundboard websites, I thoroughly recommend using proper internet security protocols, like, you know, using an ad blocker that also blocks like illicit scripts from running from different websites. Cause you don't, you don't know who sets up half of these different websites. So it's, it's better safe than sorry, sort of a deal. So once I've got that downloaded, I can just open up the folder that it's in. I also uploaded Goofy Slip, and I'm going to edit that with Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition lets me make sure that it's only a certain length. In this case, the whole thing is just over five seconds, so I can just trim off the empty space at the beginning, and then just before it hits five seconds, I'll delete the rest of that. And then I can save that. And then it should be good to go. If I need to reduce the sound volume, I can. Or if I want it to be, you know, ear destroying, I can do that too. I don't really recommend that because that just results in people turning off their soundboard sounds or muting your ability to send them soundboard sounds specifically. So maybe don't do that if you want to troll people in the long term or just share them in the long term. And then once I've got this saved, let's go grab Goofy again. We'll edit the Goofy sound as well, if it wants to let me click and drag. And Goofy is... Oh, that one's uh, much shorter. 
That's just a cartoon slipping sound. So that's actually a, a just fine length and volume. So we'll just go back to our test server over here. And inside of our test server, I'll go back to server settings. I'll go to soundboard and then I'll click on the big blue upload sound button. And then that'll ask me what file I want to use. So let's go to my temporary downloads folder, soundboard eight, and let's do the Godzilla roar. So one of the things that you'll first see is at the top here, it shows you a preview of what the waveform of the file looks like, how long it is, and if it's too long, if it's longer than five seconds, it'll actually ask you to use these little sliders on either side to trim it. And then if you kind of swizzle it back and forth, it'll actually zoom in on the waveform. So you make sure you only delete as much as you want. Same thing with the back end, you can adjust that and then if I wiggle it and hold it for a sec, it'll zoom in so I get just what I want. And then it'll, it'll tell me exactly how long it is. And if I find that it's too loud, like if I preview this, and it's pretty loud, I can then reduce the volume to like, I don't know, half of what it was or more. Let's, let, let's say 38% is what I want. And then I can name this Godzilla. And then I can give it an associated uh, weird emoji, like a lizard. And then I can click to upload that and boom, it's now available in my server so that I can play it. Now, if you have Nitro, you can play any sound from any server anywhere else. Otherwise, if you don't have Nitro, you can only play the sounds that are currently available on the server whose voice chat you are currently logged into. So if that was the case, I'd only be able to have access to my test server stuff. Where is my test server stuff? So here is my Chupacabra test server stuff here at the top. And I only, if I didn't have Nitro, I would only have access to these. Like my Godzilla sound. And this button that I just clicked, it's down here. It's above like your mute deafen and underneath your disconnect button in the lower left. It's your open soundboard button, and then this will allow you to have access to all the different soundboards from all the different weird places that you hang out. And then you can click on any one of them that's available here and play them if, you, if it's not grayed out. When you hover over them, you can actually assign these to be like one of your favorites so that it's always up here at the top. So you can play that whenever you want, whenever you're trying to punctuate a joke. You can also, when you're hovering over it, you can see there's like a little preview button on the opposite side. There's play in the middle, favorite on the right, and then there's preview on the left. That'll play it, but only you'll be able to hear it. The other thing you can do is if you're on someone else's server and you want to save a sound for later, you can right click that. And you can do a couple things. You can set an entrance sound for your current server, for all servers, which means when you first log into the channel, it'll play a sound effect. Or you can download that sound if you want to use it somewhere else. Like this is especially handy if you don't have Nitro and you want to yoink someone's sound to take back to your server. You can click on that and it'll ask you where you want to download it to. Probably just the same place that I kept my other stuff. So I'll just, you know, I could name this like some meme sound and then it'll download it automatically and I can upload that somewhere else later. You can also click here. It gives me a button to add in more sounds to the server because I haven't used up all the slots. And then also in the upper right corner of this pop out window is a little button that brings up the soundboard volume control slider. And you can also find that same slider inside your user settings. I believe it's down here under voice and video or wherever your sound settings are. And then here it right here, it's the soundboard. You can turn it down because for better or for worse, almost nobody really edits their sounds besides the length of them. They don't make them more quiet. They're usually going to destroy your ears. I would recommend turning this knob down sooner rather than later. And then you can also right click people and one of the options to deafen other people is to mute their ability to play soundboard sounds. 
and only that person, it's rather handy um, when only one person's being a pain in the rear with that, but you don't want to mute all soundboard sounds because some people are fun. So this has been a brief look at where to get soundboard sounds. I have a selection of soundboard sounds available for you to mess around with here on my Chupacabra's Lair server here under the freebies. I have a lot of different Discord meme sounds you can download for free. They're all pre-trimmed, so you can just upload them to your Discord uh, and have fun with them. They're relatively small. I think the biggest one is like this one here, which is like a megabyte. So come on over, check it out for yourself. Link to join the Discord's in the video description below. Um, otherwise, I think that should cover it. This is how to find them, how to edit them, how to upload them, set all that stuff up, and how to play them. And yeah, you should be good to go. So yeah, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.